Hey guys, um, I know it's been really weird because we haven't been in church in a while and stuff and we haven't really gotten to see each other and so I thought it'd be nice if we did a little Devo for y'all and I wanted to share with y'all something that I've been studying since I'm in my Bible school and all that and I wanted to start off by asking you guys what if I told you to eat this book? Now, the normal person would would probably give me funny looks, and uh, I imagine some of you would do it. And if some people would be like, all right, I do that all the time. And if that's the case, then we that's a talk we need to have later. But, but it's not out of the ordinary, at least in the Bible it's not. Because there are a lot of times when people are asked to eat. Uh, books or scrolls and stuff and one of these cases is in Revelation 10 and what's going on here is J we have John and God is showing John all these amazing things and in this one moment there's this big angel and he's got a scroll in his hand and he's speaking and John's about to write this all down and the angel's like, no, do not write it down. Here. And he hands John the scroll, and he goes, John, I want you to take this scroll, and I want you to eat it. So it, it still sounds strange, but there is an important purpose behind John being asked to do that. And so what does it mean? Well, I'll try to make it in a way that is easy to understand. Let's say I have... A pizza yeah right here pizza and I I can study the pizza all I want I can know how many pepperonis are on it I can know exactly how much sauce is on it I can know the diameter circumference of the pizza and all that but if I'm not eating the pizza then I'm missing out the whole point of why I have the pizza in the first place in the Bible is a lot like that. We can know how many pages are in it and we can look at the words all we want, but if we're not truly digesting what this is telling us, then we are missing the point. And, and there's a story um, that, I, that I, I found in the book I'm studying called Eat This Book. And this guy named Eugene Peterson was talking about when he was younger. And he was really into running. He'd get ready for marathons. He'd run all the time. He'd have all these magazines and books about running because he was so invested in it. And one day he pulled his hamstring. I don't know how long he was out for, but it was for a pretty significant amount of time. And what happened was the more time passed and he wasn't running the less he got invested into these reading books these running books sorry and he realized that because he wasn't doing all the running he wasn't as invested in all the readings as he was before and the bible is a lot like that because we won't truly digest or really be invested into this book unless we're running, unless we are living out what it's telling us to do. And the same same guy and uh, was talking about this lady that he was talking to. And this lady just could not understand the Bible. There's just so many things that she had a hard time understanding. And eventually one of his friends is just like, listen, you can't. You can't just keep reading this and expect to understand it. If you want to understand this, you got to go out there and live it. You have to act. You have to do what it's telling you to do. And it's funny because um, there's a in the in uh, in Israel there's these people called rabbis, and what that means they're like teachers or mentors, and they're teaching their students all the time and they'll tell you that there's a certain part of the body that they want you to use when you're learning 
It's not your ears. It's not your eyes or your mouth or your nose, I, which I don't know why you'd use your nose, but that also be, could be something we talk about later. But they say the best part of your body to use to learn, for them at least, is the feet. What that means is they want you to learn by following. And so the point I'm trying to get at with all this is if you really want to understand and invest your life into the Bible, we need to actually follow with our feet. We need to live it out. And once we start living it out, we can really start seeing what it's trying to tell us. And so I know you have a lot of time at home and you might be playing Fortnite or Call of Duty or whatever. And you may not really have uh, spend a lot of time on the Bible, uh, but I, I want to encourage that, of course. And, and like I said, the best ways of actually seeing what it's telling you to do when you're studying is to actually live it out. And of course, there are some things that are confusing. So, and, and that's why you have me and Scott and, and David and all that stuff. And in and, and small groups, too, in classes, it's, we, we can all talk about what it's telling us to do. And I hope that's, that's all I have for you guys right now. And I hope you guys stay healthy and um, stay inside.